Hey babies, so today I'm here to share with you guys my favorite baby shower gifts to give to somebody. I actually have a baby shower to go to today, so I have a couple bags of her presents that are not yet in the wrapping, but I thought I would go ahead and film this for you guys. I know going to baby showers is like one of my favorite things to do as a mom, and I love buying new stuff for the mom and whatever, and obviously I try to stick to the registry, buy things off there, unless they've told me beforehand that they'd really like something that's for whatever reason not on there. Like I've had somebody tell me before that they wanted this baby wrap that they couldn't register for at the store, so I got them that. But you know, for the most part, I try to stick to the registry because people do tend to get like points and rewards and all kinds of stuff for the registry now, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have a little list on my phone because I'm a huge breastfeeding advocate. If the mom is breastfeeding, I'm obviously going to do what I can to buy whatever off her registry that has to do with breastfeeding. So I did that here. I got what I could off of her registry as far as breastfeeding goes, but there are a couple things that I don't have that I wanted to mention that I try to kind of go off the beaten path a little bit. You know, I'll get things off their registry but if the mom's going to be working and plans on pumping while at work and stuff like that you know it's also a great idea to get some breast pump wipes or even a wet bag for her to keep her parts in but one of my all-time favorites to get for breastfeeding is a nursing pillow most people register for that even if they're not nursing you know it's just nice to have a little pillow for baby and I love getting that but that was already taken so I have a little box of goodies right here and I'm just gonna pull them out so she registered for some nursing pads which obviously must have and then I also picked these up for her, the Thera Pearls from Lansano. These are really great for engorgement or clogs because they can be hot or cold. So these are something else that I love to get for moms. This is something that a lot of people don't know about and something that I just threw in here for her. But they are the gel soothing pads. I use these postpartum with Remy and I'm so upset that I didn't use them with Sophie because they feel amazing. They can keep these in their fridge, they'll be nice and cool and when you apply them to the breast they will soothe your nipples so well and you can get quite a few uses out of them. I can't remember exactly how many times but it is quite a bit amount of uses on those. And then also some breast milk storage bags, this is also something else she registered for so I went ahead and got her some of those. Also on her registry and one of my favorite things to give moms is nipple bombs. This is the one that she chose but I've also gifted Badger, Honest Company, Earth Mama Angel Baby, stuff like that. Those are all really great nipple bombs and it's something that they can use to really help them in those days postpartum. This next item can also be breastfeeding related but it doesn't have to be and you guys know that I'm a huge advocate for pumping as breastfeeding too. I'm a retired exclusive pumper. I plan to exclusively pump with any future children that we're going to have but I found that at both my shower for Sophie and my sprinkle for Remy you never really get bottles. Uh, it's just just something I don't know if people just assume that you're gonna get a lot of so they don't end up getting it but I went ahead and I picked her up the bottles that she had registered for this is something that I love to give moms whether they're breastfeeding or not you know if they're gonna be working or if they want to be an exclusive pumper like I am bottles is gonna be necessary for when they're not home or if they are giving breast milk in a bottle but also there's people who choose to formula feed so obviously they're going to need bottles too and like I said I think it's just something people probably think you're going to get a lot of but in my experience and what I've heard from other people you never really get that many so I like to be the person who hooks you up with a few bottles because they can be kind of expensive depending on the brand you want or how many you need stuff like that the next bit of stuff has to do with first aid I like to throw in a couple of things that are good to have on hand for when baby does inevitably come catch their first cold or pops their first tooth when they're teething that it's just really great that you don't have to run out to the store and get it's already at home because that's what happened with Sophie I didn't register for that stuff so I ended up having to have Mark go out and get those things and it's kind of a hassle when you have a cranky upset baby at home so she didn't register for these things but it's just stuff like infant Tylenol the store brand is the same as the name brand so 
that's what I stick with. This is significantly cheaper than the brand name Tylenol. So I get the store brand. The next thing is the Organic Breathe Easy Rub from The Honest Company. And this is something you can use on babies three months and older. And it's absolutely amazing. I have two of these in my home. I've used them with my girls since they've been three months and older. And I swear by it. You know, when babies are congested, they're super fussy because, you know, Obviously it sucks, but at the same time, babies have a hard time getting all of that out. So this helps a ton. It's not something that I even thought of as a parent, but I picked it up in like a bundle that I got from Honest Company. And I was so glad that I did because when the girls got their first colds, I was able to use this and it helps a lot. It really does. So I picked that up for her. You never know when sickness is going to hit and it's nice to have those things. A couple of things that I don't have here, but I also got her is a nose sucker and also some saline wipes. The saline wipes are so great when you are wiping baby's nose a lot, whether you're sucking it out or they have a runny nose. It's just nice and gentle on their face. I've tried so many different wipes thinking it's all the same stuff, but honestly, the saline wipes are really gentle on their face. So I got her some of those. My favorite are from Shea Moisture. And then also to go along with that, like I said, I have the nose sucker. I swear by the nose Frida, but I tend to get whatever's on their registry just because some people aren't comfortable with the nose Frida and that's obviously everybody's preference so I just get whatever they're comfortable with so whether it's a bulb sucker uh electric one whatever it might be you know I try to stick with that but those are must-haves because when they are congested that's the only way you can really get it out for them and the nose Frida is amazing it clears up my girls so so well and this can kind of be considered first aid, I guess, in a sense, but it also leads me to a new topic, which is books. It's one of my favorite things to give moms, but she had registered for what to expect the first year. And I had this edition when I had Sophie and it is so amazing. It really has rashes, different stuff, when to see a doctor, different fevers, a whole bunch of different stuff. And it goes month by month. It's just a great book. It, it's swaddling. I'm just like looking at the stuff as I'm flipping through the pages, but it really is awesome. I loved mine. I didn't look at it much when I had Remy because I, you know, like second time mom. But when I was a new mom this really did help a lot I loved having it on hand so since she registered for it I picked it up for her but I also got a couple other books she didn't necessarily register for these but I just always think it's a really nice gesture to get people books that they can eventually read to their babies and these are two of our favorite books this one is the going to bed book and then giraffes can't dance you guys know this is Sophie's favorite but yeah books is just one of my very very favorite things to give moms a couple of other things that are typically on baby registries that I love to get if this other stuff isn't on there is a baby positioner what I mean is like a high chair or a bumbo seat uh, they boppy even makes like a whole pillow now stuff like that or even auto rock and plays from Fisher Price things that they can sit baby in and be you know contained for a moment or two with supervision I love those just don't underestimate those as a parent it is really nice to have your hands free sometimes to maybe not be wearing baby if you do baby wear so those are always great and obviously if it's like a high chair or something like that those are necessities so those I really love to get and also a hugely popular thing on baby registries is muslin blankets. I love these. You guys have probably heard how many different uses they have from baby spit up to mats for changing diapers and nursing covers and just being used as swaddle blankets. And I'm one of those lovers. I have so many swaddle blankets, it's not even funny. So when people register for those, I love, love to get them. They have just been so amazing for our family that I just want to pass that on. The last registry item is some diapers. These are the ones that she registered for and also some wipes. Again, I stick with whatever brand, whatever kind, you know, the parents have registered for. That's what I like to get them. But obviously diapers and wipes are something you cannot have enough of. So I really do try to get some for the parents. And that kind of leads me to stuff that's not necessarily on the registry. And a couple of things I love to give like gift cards for food places when you are a new parent and you're tired 
a lot of the time you don't want to be cooking <laughs> most of the time you don't want to be cooking i should say so having a nice card whether it's to a fast food restaurant or an actual restaurant in your town whatever it might be or even going over and taking them food you know offering to do their dishes stuff like that i'm all about that so i tend to ask before I do that one because a lot of people are like, oh, gift card's fine. But you know, I've had a couple really close friends and family be like, no, you can come on over. So I'll bring them dinner and I'll typically try to like clean their house if they want me to because I'm totally for that. I know what it feels like to be a new mom and feel like, oh my gosh, I have laundry to do and I got to do the dishes and I got to sweep. So when I'm over there, I'm like, I'm going to throw the dinner in the oven. Tell me what I can do. Let me clean something. I think that is a totally underestimated gift because a lot of new parents would love that. I have two more things for you and the first thing is the most non-registered for item that I hear about a lot from my friends and that is typically either a baby wrap or a baby ring sling. There are baby carriers that you can register for at stores but there's not a ton of like wraps or slings and so my friends might want a specific brand but they couldn't put it on the registry and I love to get that for them. I've loved my baby carriers so if my friends want one I am down for getting that for them. And the very last thing is something that I personally can't make it's also something you don't really put on a registry but it is crocheted or knitted items now this is a little hat that i had made for her i don't knit or crochet really couldn't tell you how this was made but i do have a friend who did so i bought her some yarn and i also paid her for her time and she made this little hat for me and i have gotten hats i've gotten blankets and they really do mean the world to me my girls still have them they still use the blankets at least and it really just means a lot that people took the time to either have something made for you or they made it themselves and that is just by far and away one of the most precious gifts and like i said i can't make it but it is something that i love it's just like a little bit of handmade love you know knitted or crochet shade items or you know even just a handmade quilt whatever it might be those are amazing amazing gifts that I know I've loved receiving and every time I've ever seen someone get one as a gift they've loved it as well so that is all of my favorite products to give for baby showers I will try to link as much as I can down below in case you're an expecting mom you want to pop this on your registry or you're just you're looking for some of these products. Let me know down below what your favorite item is to gift people for their baby showers, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks for watching!